For most of us, watching a cooking show is as close as we'll get to eating with a celebrity chef, but my next guest says that shouldn't be the goal. Chuck Hughes is a Montreal-based award-winning chef and restaurateur who says you don't have to shell out for an amazing meal. In fact, you don't even have to go to a restaurant. Chuck is the host of Cooking Channel's Chuck's Eat the Street, which debuts its third season Sunday, July 10th at 10 p.m. Eastern, and he joins us now on set. Chuck, great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on the third season of your show. Yeah, thank you. Very exciting. So obviously here in New York City, we have our pick of amazing restaurants. Really? <laughs> Wait, New York's a good place to eat? Last I heard. Yeah. But you say, you know what, you don't even ever even have to go into a restaurant to have a great well, I mean, you know, the whole point is, you know, the show is obviously, you know, we're showcasing uh, food all across America, uh, you know, whether it's high end, low end, food truck. Uh, mm -hmm. And the whole point is that, you know, obviously everybody knows New York has some of the best food in the world uh, and it's a great place to eat. But I'm trying to focus on, you know, kind of the unbeaten path, yeah. the places that people wouldn't think. So um, how do you find your spots? How do you do your research? A lot of eating. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like fun. You know, we, do, we, we do a lot of good research. I mean, we kind of have our ear to the ground in terms mm -hmm. of, you know, oh, this chef is doing this. And, the, you know, so we kind of have a bit of a vibe of what's going on in each city right. but we, we do a lot of lot of research uh, we send somebody out to scout to eat to get a vibe and then you know we research very very well but you know friends recommendations mm -hmm. you know the, the cooking world is pretty small so it, right. it, it gets around and coming up you're looking at two towns Austin Texas and Rhinebeck New York yeah. right T can you give us a little sneak peek into what you found there yeah well you know Austin everybody knows you know keep it weird yeah, uh, it's just, <laughs> it it's, you know what I mean? A little mech tech. Yeah, you know, yeah. a little bit of that and a little bit of, uh, you know, s stuff that you wouldn't think. You know, there's amazing sushi. I went to this wow. place called Uchi, which is doing amazing stuff. Uh, Odd Duck, another restaurant that's uh, fairly new uh, and, you know, just doing amazing, really good food. So mm -hmm. Austin, everybody knows you got to go there and there's a lot of great food. Rhinebeck was a little bit off the beaten path, you know, people that are in New York know that Rhinebeck's a great place to go for a weekend, to yep. enjoy, uh, but you know, I, I uh, as a Canadian, I went there and I went uh, to a maple syrup farm. <laughs> and what'd and you I, think? You, you know, got a high bar for maple syrup. Right. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, it was great. I had a maple syrup tasting. Um, I love maple syrup candy. Do you I, mean, I mean, so I could eat that all day. <laughs> so yeah, so it's been fun. You know, I, I get to travel all over, eat food, meet great people, so, Sounds uh, so pinch me. Uh, I mean, you know so, what I mean? Uh, so you say don't also, don't be afraid of the food truck, right? I mean, some of the most creative, interesting stuff is coming out of food trucks these days. I notice at every city I visit, whether it's Boston or New York, there's some really cool looking truck. Yeah. And I, I feel like I've got to eat there. You know, the, the, the beauty of the food truck is that it, it's kind of giving people a chance that maybe you wouldn't have, uh, you know, the, the, the money right. or uh, people who maybe don't want to have a brick and mortar and want to live a lifestyle that's a little bit different. And it doesn't mean that they have to compromise on food. You know, I think maybe 20, 30 years ago, you'd think food truck, you'd think, you know, either an ice cream truck or, or food that's mm, not, not so good. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've elevated the food truck game to, you know, gourmet status in a sense. So, so I mean, I, I, you know, you, you always have to trust the people that uh, are doing good things. And so you don't I, have to spend a lot of money. That's the thing, right? That's the beauty of great food. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend tons of money. There, and a lot of times, you know, those little gems are, are pretty cheap. So. No excuse for not eating well, right? Yeah, there you go. Chuck, thank you so much thank for you. that.